Hello everyone and welcome to a short presentation on getting a doctoral degree in Germany. My name is Dirk Riele. I'm a professor of computer science at University of Erlangen. This talk is not about computer science specifically, but about getting a PhD, a doctoral title in general. So we will discuss what it is, why you might want to get it and how you get there. So a doctor title is a usually prestigious academic title that you can get if you demonstrate sufficient scientific ability, the ability to create and gain new knowledge that advances the state of the art uh, in some discipline. And you demonstrate that by submitting a written thesis, the so-called dissertation, which if found sufficient will get you the doctor title. I say doctor title, sometimes people say PhD. The difference is simply that it's different titles provided by accredited institutions. And some of those call it the PhD and some of those call it the doctor title. In general, in the Anglo-Saxon countries, the English speaking countries, it's usually the PhD and it's attached to your name at the end, while in the German speaking countries, it's the doctor, DR, added in front of your name if you achieve the title. For all practical purposes, they mean the same. It's an advanced degree. It shows you're able to perform scientific research as recognized by scientific peers and the community. So why would you want to do that? Well, maybe because you're the curious person. It could be a fabulous time in your life to get a PhD, meaning to perform research and then getting a PhD or doctoral title might just be an addition to that. It's also required for certain careers. So if you want to be a scientific researcher in a research lab, you may need that title. Certainly, if you want to become a professor and teach at a university, you'll have to have that title. And it's its own domain. Science is something that you have to grow into. Like any domain, like any tribe, science has its own terminology, its own words that you have to learn. And they have their own meaning and their own logic and so forth. So you have to learn this language, the language of science, perform your research, and then you may get the title. A key part of that is to give you a realistic perspective that not only do you have to be sufficiently smart, you also need social skills. Research usually happens in a context. You join a research project, a research team, some professorship, and you need to get along with people. So social skills are important. And maybe they are the best part of it that you have and meet those great people, like-minded, and that they make your experience so much better as much as you improve theirs. So there are multiple ways to the doctor title. In the German speaking countries, the individual doctorate is the dominant way. In Anglo-Saxon countries, it's usually a structured program that you get accepted to. And the difference is in two dimensions. It's in how do you get admitted to it and how are you funded during the degree time frame. In the German individual doctorate, you need to convince a single professor, just one professor, that uh, you are probably going to succeed and then and that they are willing to supervise you on a topic, research topic. And then it's only the dean's office which will check formal requirements, but that's it. You just need the signature of a single professor. That's the individual doctorate where the professor and you agree on what your dissertation topic, your research topic is. That is different in the traditionally Anglo-Saxon, but also increasingly German structured programs where you actually really apply to a program uh, submit an application which is not just reviewed by one specific professor that you address but an evaluation committee usually. 
So these are the graduierten colleague in German or simply structured PhD programs, which are not common in German yet, but we will also have them in the future or have some at time already in some select spaces and which are also and which are the dominant form of getting a PhD in say Great Britain or the US. So there's an evaluation committee. It's not at the whim of a single professor, but there's a committee which evaluates your application. There's a limited number of seats to be had while uh, professors can have any in the under the individual doctorate professors can have any number of PhD students. So this is how you get in either by way of a single professor or by passing an admissions or evaluation process. Now, if you go the way of the individual doctorate with that professor's agreement on supervising you is not necessarily connected a funding of the time of, of your living expenses. Rather, you need to find the money to live. There's no, there's simply no money guaranteed if a professor says, yep, sounds good, I'll, I'll sign off on you being my PhD student. So you still need funding. And that funding typically then comes from a research project for which the professor has money and for which they employ you then. That's a real employment relationship, a real salary at the university where the professor works. So this is how it works. A professor usually first is looking for a person to staff a research project. This opens up the willingness to accept someone as a PhD student. If you fill that role, you could be a good PhD student and you would be able to perform the work required by the research project that the professor got funded. Then the professor is probably going to say, A, I will hire you and B, I'm willing to sign that piece of paper that gets you accepted as a PhD student by the Dean's office, assuming you meet the formal requirements. Much, much less common, but also possible is that you convince a professor to just take you on as a PhD student. And then because you're the uh, of a rich family, you just pay yourself. That's very, not very common. Working in industry, while getting a PhD is also not very common. The other way, the structured program, again, US, Great Britain, not so much Germany, though it's changing. You have to pass that admissions test. There's only a certain number of seats. But if you get in, you'll also get funded right away. That comes with admission into the program. So here, admission into the program and funding is coupled rolled into one but it's usually at least in the us and, uh, and the uk just a living stipend it's not nearly as good as a full-blown salary though i think german structured programs also simply pay a salary so that's it uh, you need to find either the professor for an individual doctorate to fund you or you need to pass the admissions barrier for a structured program how long will it take you? Here are some common questions and answers. Well, it depends. Um, it's often limited in the case of an individual doctorate or a structured program by what that program or the research project funding the individual doctorate says. So three years would be common. And um, that's why there's often a time limit, say, on employment in the individual doctorate. Will you get the time to focus on research work? Well, that's the idea. If you're hired for a research project by a professor in an individual doctorate situation, or if you join a research program, a structured program, uh, you should find the time. But behind that question is, will there be any distractions? And yes, there will be any distractions in the case of the individual doctorate because you now have a boss. It's not the university, you're not free, you have a boss, which is the professor who mostly wants you to work on the research project, but may also have requirements of the sort that, well, there's teaching to be done, administration duties to be handled and so forth. So I would say 
in the case of an individual doctorate where you are joining a particular professorship, you maybe get 70% of your work time to work on research. How to get into a structured program? Well, pass the admissions barrier. Can I get a doctor title while working in industry? Yes, you can under the individual doctorate situation because there's only that one professor who seats, needs to say, yes, I support the student, I'm willing to supervise them. But the question is, where do you find the time to perform the research work? If your job in industry is exactly on the research topic, great. That's like being employed by the university. You're just employed by industry, and uh, but you're still working on a research topic that gives you publications that you can turn into a dissertation that you can submit for promotion to receive the doctor title. Fabulous. Except that it's usually not predictable in industry what you'll be doing three years from now. Can you get, uh, can you, will you work with industry? So in engineering, it's very common to work with industry. I always say industry is where the research data is, so you've got to work with industry. Doesn't mean you have to work in industry. As I was just saying, if your research project while working in industry is on your research topic, great. But if you just have a job to fund your living, pay your living, uh, and expect to be performing the research for a doctor title on the weekend, that's probably not going to work. If you're at the university under an individual doctorate situation, will you have lots of teaching to do? Maybe. As I said, it's perhaps 20 to 30% of a contribution to the research group, research and teaching group, the professorship in terms of teaching and admin duties. Did Corona change much? Mm, not really. I think not much changed. Maybe we work from home a lot more, obviously, but uh, that was never a deterrent. The structure and the interaction and the creativity that comes from sitting at lunch together, that obviously got reduced during Corona, so you need to find alternatives to fostering that community and creativity. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I'm very glad you're interested in getting a PhD and I wish you good luck with it and may it be a most enjoyable ride.